Yum. Keto chocolate chip cookie dough bites. First, you're going to take eight ounces of cream cheese and six tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature. And you're going to put those into your mixer. I'm just using a stand mixer because that is the easiest for me, especially when I have a toddler running around that I am looking after. And I've sped up some of this and edited some of this out, but obviously you're going to mix it until it's well incorporated and just kind of cream together. Then I'm gonna add some almond butter. Make sure that you use almond butter that um, is sugar-free, no added sugar. Basically, you should just say almonds on the ingredients um, if you want to keep this recipe keto. And I'm going to add a half a cup of that. And that is what really makes this recipe yummy. And once you've added that to the mix, again, turn on the mixer and just keep creaming together until it's all consolidated. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of Swerve. This is a granulated um, sweetener that is made of components that don't really spike your blood sugar, affect your insulin levels like some artificial sweeteners do. I prefer to use the brown sugar um, substitute blend for this recipe just because I'm really going for that chocolate chip cookie flavor and you gotta have brown sugar to get that flavor. And I'm adding just like I said, a fourth of a cup of that. Uh, now I'm adding a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can see there, I've just got the Great Value brand. Doesn't really matter, just going for that vanilla flavoring. And of course I am continuing to mix after I add each ingredient. Now this is 100% liquid stevia. This one actually got at Trader Joe's for a really good price. Uh, a lot of places it's pretty expensive or hard to find. You want to make sure it's actually 100% liquid stevia and not a blend. And I am adding a full teaspoon of that just to get it to the level of sweetness that I like. Now I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon sea salts. And I usually add sea salt to most of my keto recipes. And I'm going to take this unsweetened baker's chocolate. It's 100% unsweetened, really bitter. That's why I added that extra sweetener. And I'm going to just chop it up, um, kind of coarse, with a big chef knife. And then I'm gonna add about a fourth to a third of a cup of it right into the mixer. The recipe that I base this on actually uses stevia sweetened chocolate chips for, um, for this recipe, but I prefer it with the dark chocolate and then it cuts out on the carb content. And you can actually see my reflection in the mixing bowl as I am chop, chop, chopping away. And there we go. So some fine, some coarse. You can see my two-year-old in the background. She keeps bobbing in and out of the frame while I'm making these. She was over there in the cabinets pulling out some other um, small kitchen appliances. You're going to want to take your spatula and keep scraping the bottom of your mixing bowl because sometimes when you're blending cream cheese and butter with 
sugar. We're using granulated sweetener here, but it will stick in the bottom. So you want to keep mixing that just to make sure that your mixer is getting it all and it's getting incorporated. Okay. And once that is all mixed, we're all set up to start preparing the actual cookie dough bites. So for this, I actually took a silicone mat and put it on a regular cookie sheet. And now I'm kind of measuring out about a tablespoon each of the dough and kind of just forming it with my fingers into balls. And I think I only make 18 here. Maybe I go for the full 20. But it should make about 18 to 20 of these dough balls. And it's a very messy business. I should have actually gotten another spoon or another little silicone spatula and been a little neater about getting the dough out of the tablespoon, but you get the gist. And after you get these all set out on the silicone mat, you're just going to pop them uncovered into the refrigerator for at least an hour. I think I left mine in the refrigerator overnight before I actually tried one. Of course, I tasted the remnants. Um, what I love about this recipe is, of course, since there's no raw eggs in them or any other ingredients that need to be cooked, you just eat this raw and after they sit in the refrigerator they actually get like the consistency of not quite like cookie dough more like a pie filling than cookie dough they're they don't have any like chewiness to them like cookie dough does but it's got that nice um thick like custardy type texture it's very delicious and the types of sweeteners that I used in these don't even really leave that bad of an aftertaste when you eat them. They just taste delicious and they taste like they should have tons of sugar in them and they do not. Of course, they are high in fat with the cream cheese and the almond butter, but it's all kind of pretty healthy fats in my opinion. And Blair's still toddling in the background there. You see her going in for a food processing cup. I have to make sure to keep the blades and stuff stored away from her so she can't reach those. And there you go. And after you pop those in the refrigerator, I actually took a couple out and put them on a saucer with some cocoa. And that's your finished product. Hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and see you next time. Bye.